Ladies and gentlemen, the American German Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Eric Dieter Show, sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Park Yoga, Top Shine Detailing. We got some more sponsors coming. And guess what? Check us out on all of our platforms. Well, the big news is no question the uh, Colorado Supreme Court in a four to three decision said Trump can't be on the ballot due to the insurrection, blah, blah, blah. Folks, this is not going to stick. Not only that, it'll be headed to the United States Supreme Court. And I just want all of you all to know, don't worry. I've done a Facebook Live explaining it. By the way, true story, Dr. Melman uh, sent me a reminder of it, and he's right. Guess who else they did this to? Lincoln in the South. Lincoln wasn't even on the ballot in the southern states. He won anyway. All right. The IRS is cutting a bunch of people slack that owe about $100,000. are going to waive penalties and interest. All right. Andy Kim, this guy right here, is blowing Menendez in New Jersey off the chart. Menendez, you know, the guy that's been indicted, he's got like three points. But he won't resign. He's going to milk it all the way. All right, Joe Biden goes to the funeral of Sandra Day O'Connor. Well, not, not the funeral. He goes to the uh, service, United States Supreme Court. And he actually uses curse words. Helping to open doors secure freedoms, and prove that a woman can not only do anything a man can do, but many times do it a heck of a lot better. Excuse my language, Father. He apologized. Unbelievable. He is a walking talk dog pony, dog pony, dog pony soldier, that's what he called himself, or somebody. All right, Engeron says Trump's expert he don't believe anything that Trump's experts at. Now, I want to tell you something. Double edge here. First off, this expert charged Trump like $2,000 an hour. Cost nearly a million dollars. Does that affect credibility? Sure it does. But you know what? This is the way it is in this world, in the legal system, and the court system. Trump's made a record, though. Do you expect this guy... He ain't going to rule for Trump on anything. That's what the Court of Appeals for. Trump went to Iowa, had a good showing there. He's blowing them away in Iowa. Just to let you know, Trump's campaign, I spoke to him. I know this. Trump's campaign is win Iowa, race over. Uh, Hunter has apparently been sneaking in the White House. They won't tell us when he goes to the White House. Imagine that. This is funny, and it's bad because it's going to hurt DeSantis even more. DeSantis secured the website Trump Nikki 2024 claiming that she's running for vice president, blah, blah, blah. Guess what? This just makes DeSantis look like third place anyway. And Nikki Haley's never going to be VP because she turned on Trump once. He's going to have a VP that he can count on. I just hope he names an attorney general he can count on this time. Hothus are hitting our Red Sea, folks. They called it Operation um, Guardian Prosperity or something. Who comes up with these Dilrod, generals that don't fight the wars. Epstein, a judge has said uh, after January 1st, they're going to release about 170 names. Finally, Cambridge study looks like 25% of those people that got the max are having max immunity issues. Hmm. Florida RNC chairman kicked out. His wife won't retire, though. They'll be famous reality TV stars now. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Eric Dieter Show Local News. As always, we're sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Park Yoga, Top Shine Detailing. Check us out, baby, on all of our platforms. Well, the College Hill shooting two shot last night. Apparently nobody killed, no arrests yet that I know of. Five two, $5.2 million cargo theft. The Kentucky State Police busted them. 30 federal indictments, seven arrests. St. Bernard Sergeant, remember the Halloween guy? All charges have been dismissed. Good for him. Kroger gunfire. Wow, at Fort Mitchell. These people from right out of town, they weren't like normal Kroger shoppers in Fort Mitchell. One involved a vet. Crazy stuff. Nobody killed. In local news, lots of crashes in Boone County, including a pedestrian trying to go across the interstate. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Two people been killed. Uh, they're on the screen. In Kentucky, Senator Wheeler, Phil Wheeler, I like this guy, from down in Pike County, filed for re-election. And guess who else has filed 
News hasn't reported it. Thomas Massey has filed for Congress. Yours truly will be taking him on as an independent candidate, so I can whoop him all the way to November. Roger Partham was found, ready for this, chained up, uh, anchor. I mean, he was on the run in 1998 from the FBI, some child abuse, rape, whatever. Guess what? I think it was just rape. He was found at the bottom of a lake in Lyon County. Somebody wanted him dead and kept in the bottom of that lake. A fisherman got him. All right. In Ohio news, Trump has endorsed Bernie Marino. Congratulations, Bernie Marino. You will be the next United States senator now. Claremont County Republican Party did not endorse their chairman right here. They endorsed David Taylor. How do you like that? Dr. Alvin Crawford, who was the guy who protected Durrani at University uh, excuse me, at Children's Hospital, is now at UC Health, and he's teaching doctors. By the way, other than the Durrani incident, unblemished record, but I want the world to know that Dr. Alvin Crawford protected Durrani while he did surgeries on unnecessary kids. All right, Phil Heimlich is going to run for the Republican nomination in the 2nd Congressional District. I can't stand this guy. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. Hello again. You're watching Eric Dieter's World News. This is Jamie Spinley. Today's headlines. A multinational naval force will be deployed in the Red Sea to defend against attacks from the Huith that has disrupted international shipping routes. The US-led correlation will include Britain, Bahrain, Canada, France, Italy, the Netherlands, Norway, Seashells and Spain. They will reforce a US and Egyptian led force already operating in the region. Sad news here a father was Christmas shopping when his four children and a young relative died in an Arizona house fire. The fire tore through the two story home, leaving no survivors. Four children, ages two, four, five, and 13, were siblings, whilst an 11 year old was a visiting relative. Officials are investigating the fire and have not released the names of the children or father. Police in Mexico say 12 people were killed and another 11 injured when a gunman stormed the venue, which a group of young people had gathered for a pre-Christmas religious celebration. The local mayor said that the victims had no links to any crime groups. Whilst deadly shootouts are not usual in this region, they normally occur when rival gangs target each other. And footballer Erling Ireland of Norway and Manchester City was named BBC's World Sports Star of the Year. That's the latest headlines. Until tomorrow, cheerio. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jerry and Bulldog Nation, you know what you got to have? You got to have faith in yourself. And I'm telling you right now, this is the best damn sports show anywhere. Sports without boundaries. Me and my producer, Josh Wentz. Let's get rocking. Well, at the Lakers game, look at this dog. I got a golden doodle. It ain't this big. What the hell is this dog? It's, a, it's not a golden doodle. It's like, uh, what's the uh, Great Dane golden doodle? Unbelievable. His name is Brody at a Lakers game. I mean, unbelievable. Kevin Bacon's like, what the hell? Kira Sedgwick with him. I mean, this is crazy. Look at that dog. Oh, let me guess. The way the dog got in is it's, what, what's that called when you have a dog that you need? Service, service dog. That's, that's insane. All right, national signing days for college. We'll cover it all tomorrow. It's going to be crazy. Go Bama. Aaron Rodgers says he will not play this year. Uh, I'm sure it's because they don't have any chances they're out. All right, Marant comes back. You can't make it up. He scores over 30 points, hits the winning shot. He's back. Jamar, first we heard he wasn't going to make it. Now, coach says he's probably going to be in the Steelers game. We'll see. Dylan Rayole, the number one 2024 player, quarterback, is now going to Nebraska. Big deal. Apparently his father went there. Back to Morant. This is funny. Morant was in court, <laughs> and he says the judge asked him if his diamond earrings were big. And Morant says, Jock goes, yeah, I'm a millionaire. 
are those real? That's what he said. Are those real? He says, yeah, I'm a millionaire. Judge thought maybe they were fake. Great news for us baseball fans. Diamond Sports is going to bail out Bali, it looks like. Crazy. Except Minnesota, Cleveland, sorry about your luck, Nick Batista, and the Texas Rangers. But we don't care about them as long as we can watch it on Reds. Tommy DeVito went to the pizzeria and did it for free. No 20000 10000 30000 He needs a new agent, don't you think? Erling Holland. Now, I want you, Jamie, to help me with my sports show here because you said that this guy reminds you of my skill. Who is this guy and what did he just win? This guy, Erling Haaland, is Norwegian, plays for the Norwegian national team, and he also plays for Manchester City of England. They won the treble, and it's the second team to ever do that. Manchester United was first. They won the European Championship, the league, and the FA Cup, and he scored a sca staggering 52 goals last season. Which has never been done before. No one has scored that many goals, correct? In this area, no. He is a fantastic player, well-deserved. He is my new hero. All right, Anthony Edwards, allegedly, this woman right here, apparently he wired $100,000 for having an abortion. I'm sure that was the price to have it. He's apologized, blah, blah, blah. She is a man trap. Man trap. Anthony, come on, you can do better. Rick Pitino says he regrets uh, leaving the University of Kentucky Wildcats to go to a 15-win Boston Celtic teams banking all of his chips on Duncan. He also says Louisville basketball has been ruined. You're darn right. They should have kept you, Rick Patino. The Reds traded Hopkins to the San Francisco Giants. This is the Bulldog, and we won't miss him. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, American Cheer and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's Pop Culture, sponsored by Top Shine, also sponsor sports. Let's have some fun here. Hugh Jackman allegedly is romancing the married co-star Sutton Foster. I predict that this relationship's been going on a while. Wolfman, shame on you. Unfreaking believable. I shouldn't say Wolfman. I should say Wolverine. And by the way, Wolverine, you can do better. But you are always Mr. Nice Guy. Not anymore, you cad, you. All right, Markle, that's Meghan Markle, does an extra clever coffee ad where she's, like, helping out, and it is apparently a bizarre commercial. She's fallen on hard times. Unbelievable. All right, we now have a bizarre situation. I want my two male producer, well, my male producer and my mate, Jamie, to weigh in on this. All right. Jonas' brother, all right, lost his woman, Sophie Turner. They broke up. She's been busted by the paparazzi kissing Tabitha Doherty. Looks like they might be an item. Now, my question to you two men is this, and I'll answer the question too. I'll go first to put you at ease. Would you rather lose your woman to another man or another woman? I would rather lose my woman, which I'm never going to lose, to another woman which is also never going to happen. I know that, okay? But I would rather lose my woman to another woman than to a man. What say you, Jamie Spinley? I agree with you, Eric. Definitely lose to another woman than another man. Because another woman I don't see as vilification of my woman like a man, correct? Correct. Degradation. Josh Wentz, would you want to weigh in on this? Yeah, I agree with you, too. All right. I think we I think that's a good poll of three. Most men would agree. Yeah. All right. Byron Allen, the rich guy, owns the Weather Channel and everything else. I love his story. He says his house went in and out of foreclosure numerous times before he finally made it. That's a great story. By the way, I've been blessed. I've never had to file bankruptcy. I've never had my house go in foreclosure, but I know what it's like. <laughs> I know what it's like to be out there hanging. So good for you, Byron. You keep fighting. A boiled egg guy. Never heard of this. I like boiled eggs. Apparently, you eat one boiled egg with every meal, whatever it is, and you get high protein. It apparently helps with your health. My new fad. I'm going to add that to my chili menu. I want a boiled egg every day with my small chili from Wendy's. Can you make that happen, my mate? Yes. All right. Jonathan Majors. I don't really 
know this guy very good, but he's been convicted of assault and harassment. He's apparently done some Marvel movies. His career obviously is in trouble. We only put this up here because I got a crush. You know, it's one of those like Hollywood crush things on Sydney Sweeney. This is the dress she wore to the premiere of her show. <laughs> you know what's funny about Sydney Sweeney? She complained about the sex scenes, thought she was exploited in euphoria. Do you feel exploited in your own dress, Sydney? Sydney, you keep dressing like that. All right, Gillian Turner. Uh, can't make this up, Jillian Turner. She is being promoted by Fox News to White House correspondent and anchor. She's pretty and she's smart. I like her. All right, and this is great news. I've always said, I am Van Halen, David Lee Roth. Van Halen, Sammy Hagar, I pass. Well, old Wolfgang Van Halen, this is Eddie's son, says, there's only one person allowed to sing Van Halen songs live and in concert, and it's David Lee Roth. Sorry, Sammy, baby. Now, what about you, Josh Wentz, and what about you, Jamie Spinley? David Lee or Sammy Hager? I mean, come on. He was... When, when he, yeah, Sammy Hager is like a heavy metal guy that can't sing. David Lee Roth was the front man for Van Halen. Sammy Hager sucks. I, I think he sucks too. I tell you right now, David Lee, uh, David uh, Lee Roth, he's aged a little bit and he's had some health issues and everything else. But in his heyday, he's awesome. he's awesome. That look he had with the hair and the attitude and his athletic ability, my God, he could jump. Get it? Get it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, a lot of good stuff here. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.